All right, go ahead. So basically, if you get into that screen, you got your basic. So your crop type, obviously, pick whatever crop you're in. Strategy, you can hit this I button and it'll kind of walk you through it. But you've got your basic four basic, grand quality, limited loss, max capacity or fixed throughput. So you got to think of it as two separate systems, IntelliCruise and IntelliSense. So on quality and loss, it uses both of those to control ground speed and settings. On maximum capacity, it doesn't care what your losses are for the ground speed portion. Okay. So it's just going to go to your set engine load, 95%, I think is what we're at now. And it'll still adjust your combine settings. Okay. But it's, like I said, it's going to just try and do its ground speed. Okay. So if we got it set at 95% 5 mile an hour, it's going to try to do 95% 5 mile an hour. Okay. So you got to kind of think of it as the two separate systems. Right. So we're running on limited loss that way. If our sieve loss goes up, not only is our combine sieves changing and our fan and all that, but we're also going to lose some ground speed. Um, so there's your target, max engine load. The more even the crop, the higher you can run that at 100. The more uneven, you know, a little bit lower. That's kind of the basics there. Your advanced tab. So you can do for your initial settings, current, or kind of like your automatic crop setting settings, the basic start point. Adjust frequency, how often you want the machine to adjust. Typically we're gonna run on medium or uh, low. High, we, it's just gonna adjust too often. Thrash condition, you got easy, meaty, hard. So whatever the crop type's like. So since we're getting all these white caps, we told it hard. And basically this is gonna control those veins. Okay. How big of a range it allows it. So easy is gonna allow it to go all the way up to 100. Sure. Hard thresh is basically going to set it at zero and leave it there. Um, and then you got your max rotor speed. So normally this isn't too big of an issue. Soybeans, you know, you'd set a lower max if you're cracking beans or something like that. Otherwise, you can pretty well let it do what it wants to do there. Uh, but then when you're actually running, you've got your five funnels here now. Basically, if at any point we see something wrong, so you've got rotor speed, uh, damage grain, sieve loss, uh, mog, so my sample's dirty, and then your returns. So, like right now, we've got a dirty sample. I click my sample one, and I can come in here and say, look back there, oh, it's way too much. This is what we did back there a little bit. Mm -hmm. You click way too much, it's gonna make that number go higher up. You click okay, and then you move on. Okay. And that's kind of how you set it. Same with your sieves and all that. So, like, if you're out there looking on the ground right now, and you're not seeing anything, you know, so more if you flip allowed. that to access, acceptable right now, since we, I mean, because we are, oh, more is allowed. So you, okay, I see what you mean. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. And then these are dynamic. So as we're going across the field, that more is allowed will eventually become what is acceptable mm -hmm. and, and so on. Um, and if for some reason, like occasionally the system will make a big jump on there. So say I clicked too much and it went all the way to like 80 or something and you didn't want to go that far, there is this advanced in here so say you only wanted to go half of that way you can come in here and kind of dial it back. yeah and then it'll that, adjust for that that's more of an advanced user thing mm -hmm. not your normal operation so in this situation right here if it doesn't do what we're telling it to do then we could go through those sensitivities and it, change it so it's the same as what's on here mm -hmm. but like sometimes like if I hit sometimes like even if I just hit acceptable instead of jumping to 42 there are times I've seen it jump to like 60 or 70 like just make a jump way too far. Mm -hmm. That's when you go in there and you could dial it back to maybe okay. halfway of that is when I've used it before. Okay, um, pretty simple. And then the other thing you gotta have is these two buttons here. Those both need to be lit up for okay. the system to work. And then it's all turned on and off by your orange button on the handle. So the first push is gonna be your auto steer. Your second one is gonna be your ground speed. And if we take it off, park, you can see the icon there. Yeah. So if that's gray, it means it's not working. It'll go to black. Not gonna let me do it. Right. It'll go to black and there'll be arrows in front of it when it's working. And then there'll be a little icon that shows up there and up here that tells you if it's a combine with a green check mark, it means you're good. It's gonna try and speed up, get more capacity. Otherwise it'll show a picture like an engine or sieves or something. Whatever your limiting factors will show up there and right there, right there. Okay, sounds good. But that's kind of the quick and dirty of that.